Hello and welcome. Today I will be introducing you to a new set of tutorials that involve the software called Notepad. Now most of you will recognize the Notepad software as an inbuilt sort of software which has that looks a bit like this if I sort of show you there on the left with the sort of uh, app where you can sort of take down notes and sort of have somewhere to store something maybe sort of temporarily and most of you will use it for that and a really great example is me myself so I'll use this in my work environment let's say you have sort of a company meeting and you want to say you would write down some notes so you say uh, actions that you need to do so action one equals you know x action two equals y and then so on and so on but actually notepad can do so much more and what this set of tutorials will do is it will introduce you and actually will open your mind to a whole set of new things and very sort of dynamic in a way of the way it can operate and how it can sort of start other programs and can be used for more than just note taking and more than just a replacement for what you do with a pen and paper. So a really good place to get started is to go to this website called easycodeway.com and it actually lists all the sort of commands that Notepad can do. And also it tells you other things, other ways in which you can save sort of Notepad documentation. So in most cases, Notepad will save files as a txt file but you can save it as more files than that you can save it as a, a dot bat file or a dot um, js file or a dot cpp file as you can see here um, and so this is a really good article that sort of talks you through and a bit about sort of batch programming so this is when you save it as a dot bat file and it shows you how you can sort of create sort of you can print out sort of hello world and create a document, that, a notepad file or script that does that. It also, and this is the most important part of this document, I think it shows you all the commands that sort of notepad can do. So you can um, use the ASSOC command to display or modify file extension associations. You can use the attrib command to display or change file attributes. You can um, use the call command to call one batch program for another. Um, you can check a disk and display a status report. You can start Windows Command Interpreter or Command Prompt as other people know it. You can set the default console foreground or background colors. And this is all in just Notepad, that sort of simple software which you use or most people use to just take notes and nothing more. Um, the copy command, which I've shown in a previous notepad tutorial, is also a really great one. It copies one or more files from one, from one location to another location. Um, so I have done two notepad tutorials way back when, um, ages ago. Um, but I thought I didn't really give a proper introduction to it. And um, I didn't think they did show you how to do things and I got a quite a good response, which is why I'm sort of actually um, reigniting that and reviving those sort of tutorials because I got a more of a reaction than I thought I would. And so this is why I'm going to start back up again with this introduction and then we're going to keep on going forwards with sets of tutorials on this. So how this will work on my channel is I will have a notepad scripting tutorial or another tutorial um, as well as the Python tutorial that are done on a weekly basis. So we'll be starting off with um, two tutorials per week um, and we'll start off definitely with having a notepad one and a Python one on a weekly basis and then I may switch up, switch it up a bit as time goes by. But this is the introduction to the notepad one. So just continuing down the list, you can delete one or more files. You can copy the contents of um, 
one uh well floppy disk in this case to another um it's just a show just to let you know how old and this and sort of uh i guess how much of a legacy this sort of software has you get, it still mentions the the word floppy disk which i don't know how many of you still rec remember what those are but it's still a very powerful piece of software that people often overlook you can um, run a specified command for each set of files in a file you basically do a for loop within the notepad you can yeah it just keeps going down and there's even two ways to create a directory md and mkd so let's just um show you how very quickly you can sort of save things and save and use the notepad so um like i said before most files if you click on file and then save as you will have sort of the tx saves it as a txt file or .star in this case txt and so what you can do is you can change to all files then you can just change your sort of extension to what you want so action.bat or action.cpp and so on and so forth so we're just going to build on that in these sets of tutorials and um, you can do so much more than the commands I showed you. There's actually so much more you can do than just these commands. Those are just part of what you can do. So please do um, like and share and comment on these videos and comment on this idea. See if you actually think it's a good one. And um, please do let others know of these upcoming tutorials if you think they may find it interesting. Um, and also please check out my Python tutorials. I've also got one on sort of basic Excel. If your knowledge of Excel is lacking, then I've got a whole series of tutorials starting from literally um, nothing from scratch where you can, I just literally start off with telling you the layout of the Excel software. And then we go on to sort of really basic stuff and then getting more difficult as we go along. Um, and same with Python. And then also going forwards, I mentioned it a bit earlier on, but not only will I be showing you a bit of notepad stuff, but I'll also be showing you some Java, some JavaScript and some app development using Android SDK. And Java is different to JavaScript, just to let you know. Um, so that's all the stuff you've got to look forward to further on down the line. So thanks very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe and comment below and really sort of create this sort of community, which I'm hoping to get in this YouTube channel. And I'll see you later.